Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square and this uh, yellow circle with the center O fully inscribed uh, in a square A, B, C, D as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, blue square is uh, 49 centimeter square and the side length uh, of this uh, square A, B, C, D is uh, 14 and 14 across the board and furthermore uh, this point uh, p is the center of this uh, square a b c d and now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, yellow circle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concept uh, review. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, square A, B, C, D. Since all these uh, side lengths uh, of this square are uh, same, let me label this side length uh, X, 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 and X uh, across the board. And here we got the diagonal uh, AC of this square by connecting uh, these vertices A and C. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle ABC. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me label uh, this side uh, lowercase a, lowercase b, and this uh, hypotenuse, the longest leg, uh, side c. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus x square equal to c square so in other words c square turns out to be 2 times uh, x square let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so here we can see c turns out to be equal to x uh, times uh, square root of uh, 2 so therefore our this uh, side length uh, c turns out to be x uh, times uh, square root of uh, Two. So therefore keep in mind that whenever we have a side length uh, of the square as x uh, then its uh, diagonal is going to be x uh, times the uh, square root of 2 and we are going to use this uh, concept in this given uh, problem. And here's our next step let's focus on this uh, blue square uh, PECF and its area has been given to us as 49. And now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length uh, of this uh, blue square and in our case the area of this blue square is 49 so therefore we can write uh, s square equal to 49 let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore our side length uh, s uh, turns out to be 7 centimeter so therefore all uh, these uh, side lengths uh, of this blue square turns out to be seven units across the board and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, side length uh, cd is uh, 14 and this uh, side length uh, fc is uh, seven and since uh, both uh, of these are uh, squares so no wonder this point p is going to be at the center and here in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this uh, point A and C and as a result we got this uh, diagonal AC of this uh, big square ABCD and now let's focus uh, on this uh, big square ABCD whose uh, side lengths are 14 and 14 across the board so therefore its diagonal uh, AC is going to become 14 times the square root of 2 so thus our AC length turns out to be 14 times square root of 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole diagonal AC is going to be equal to this segment AO plus this segment OP and then plus this segment PC as you can see in this equation. So therefore now our task is to calculate the length of uh, AO, the length of OP and finally the length of uh, PC. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, blue 
square PECF whose uh, side lengths are uh, 7 uh, across the board. So therefore its uh, diagonal uh, PC is going to become uh, 7 times the uh, square root of 2. So this is going to be the diagonal. And here in this uh, next step I have uh, connected this uh, center O with these uh, points of tangency T and uh, Q as you can see in this uh, diagram. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So therefore no wonder these uh, angles are going to be 90 degrees each. Since uh, this OT is the radius of this yellow circle and likewise OQ is the radius uh, as well. And these are our tangent uh, lines. And furthermore uh, this uh, OP is the radius of this uh, yellow circle. So therefore I'm going to label uh, this radius lowercase r, lowercase r and uh, lowercase r. And now let's focus uh, on this square uh, ATOQ. Its side lengths are uh, lowercase r, lowercase r across the board. So therefore its diagonal uh, AO is going to be r times uh, square root of 2. So thus our AO length uh, turns out to be r times square root of 2. And now let's recall this equation once again AC equal to AO plus OP plus uh, PC. And we can see our AC length is 14 times uh, square root of 2. And our this uh, AO length uh, is uh, R times square root of 2. And this uh, OP length uh, is uh, R. And finally this PC length is 7 times uh, square root of 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. And now I have subtracted uh, 7 times uh, square root of 2 on both sides. This is uh, gone. And here when we subtract this thing, uh, that is going to give us 7 times uh, square root of 2. So therefore we are ended up with uh, r times uh, square root of 2 plus uh, r equal to 7 times uh, square root of uh, 2. And here we can see r and r they are in common. So I can factor that r outside. So we got r times uh, square root of 2 plus 1 equal to 7 times uh, square root of 2 and now we are going to divide both sides by square root of 2 plus 1 to isolate r so this is uh, gone so therefore our radius r is going to be equal to 7 times square root of 2 divided by square root of 2 plus uh, 1 and now we are going to rationalize uh, this uh, denominator by multiplying and dividing by its conjugate so we can write uh, square root of 2 minus 1 divided by square root of 2 minus 1 as well. And now let's go ahead and multiply these uh, numerators and likewise we're going to multiply these uh, denominators as well. So therefore we can write lowercase r equal to 7 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 minus 1 divided by square root of 2 plus 1 times the square root of 2 minus 1. And now let's focus on this uh, denominator part. And here I have copied them down. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b times a minus b is always equal to a square minus b square. If I call this a and this b likewise a and b then this could be written as a square root of 2 whole square minus uh, 1 square. So therefore this is going to give us 2 minus uh, 1 is going to give us uh, 1. So the value of this denominator turns out to be simply 1 as you can see over here. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, denominator by 1. So therefore our radius uh, turns out to be 7 times uh, square root of 2 times uh, square root of 2 minus 1 centimeter. So thus here is the radius uh, of this uh, yellow circle and it's going to be equal to 4.1 centimeter. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.